Hello everyone and welcome to Informatica support videos. My name is Akshada and today we will be covering how to create a data profiling task within Informatica Cloud Data Quality, which is also considered as CDQ. Informatica Cloud Data Profiling is one of the several services available in IICS. Data profiling is on-demand subscription service that will allow you to perform data profiling on a particular set of data. Agenda of today's video is to understand what is data profiling and what statistics we can generate out of data profiling and a quick demo on the same. Data profiling, as I said, is an on-demand subscription service that we can use to create data profiling tasks. We can create and run the data profiling on a data source to determine the quality of the data and also to understand the completeness, conformity and consistency of the data. CDQ offers profiling, which will help us analyze the data schemes, determine the quality of the data. When you run a profile on source object, the results will include the number of distinct, non-distinct values, null values, the percentage of the distinct, non-distinct and the null values, the inferred and the documented data types present in the source, the number of patterns, percentage of the top pattern, the maximum and minimum length of the values, average sum, standard deviation, and numeric data type, value frequencies, as well as outliers. So if you have used data quality profiling on premise, you will find similar statistics present in the cloud data quality as well. So as you can see on the screen, all these metrics will be analyzed on the profile data. Now let us understand why data profiling. Data profiling reduces the cost and improves the merger acquisition data integration success. More importantly, it delivers the accurate source system knowledge. So one would understand the exact number of distinct data that it has, the source has, plus how much percentage of null values, what's the frequency of the null values, how many outliers we have in source system. All this kind of insights about the data will be given with the help of data profiling. And that, that is why in the data quality process, profiling data is the most important factor. Now, let us quickly see how to create a cloud data quality profile using data profiling tasks. So log into the IICS console and based on the license and the subscriptions that you have, you will see different, different services. To create cloud data profiling, you need the data profiling service to be available. So just click on the data profiling service and you can create profiling task using data profiling service. Now the prerequisite for this is you need to have a data object or the source data object imported in order to run the profile. As of R34, cloud data profiling is supported with Oracle, Microsoft SQL, Flatfile and the ODBC sources. So based on when you are watching the video, please revisit the latest PAM and reconfirm the sources that are supported for profiling. Now let us create a data profiling task or a profile task. So to create a profile task, just click new, click on the data profiling task. It will list you with the metadata of the profile. So let us name this profile as C data profile. Uh, choose the location. Location is nothing but the folder where you want the profile to be saved. Select the connection. Now connection is nothing but the source connection. So it can be a flat file connection or it can be SQL Server, Oracle or whichever source data you want to profile. Just choose that. In my case, I will be choosing a SQL Server connection. So I have chosen the connection. Now I need to select the source data object. I have a source table created, which is for the demo purpose. So I'm just going to choose that source object. Once I choose the source object, it will fetch the metadata of the source and all the column details will be displayed over here. The filters, you can always apply a filter based on the requirement. And you can also preview the data in the same tab. So I just have one column, which is of string type. The native, native data type is varchar, precision is to be there. Now, I just, by default, there will not be any columns selected. So based on your requirement, you will have to choose the columns. Since I have only one column, I'm going to select this column for profiling. And let us add a filter. Let me add a condition. So now I have applied the filter. 
for this column. The filter says check the name if it has any Makshada and let me have two reports with this. And now let us save and run the profile. So before you run, make sure that the secure agent is up and running. To check on the same, you can go to the administrator tab and you can go to the runtime environments and look for the secure agent. So in my case, my secure agent is up and running. The data integration service is also up and running. Now we have saved the profile. Let us run this profile. So once the profile is set to run, you will get a link which says profile is started and you can monitor the profile job into the my job section of the same profile data profiling service. So here you can see the profile status is running. Now, as you can see on the screen, the profile run is complete. You can see all the four stages are complete. Now, let us see the profile results. Now, let us preview the profile results. So, I had run profile on top of one column. To preview the result, just click on these three dots and say choose profile run. Choose the profile run and then you can see the profile results. So, you can see I had run profile against this column. Yeah. So I had applied a filter of name Akshada, so I can see only one record is present. Length of the record is 7. You can see the null values, there are 0 null values, distinct values, the, the fixed length, percentage and complete patterns are displayed over here. The most frequent value is only one because I had applied filter on a specific value. So based on the requirement, you can play around these metrics. So if at all you have applied any rule, you will be able to see the associated rule in the right side of the profile result. So in this way, you can uh, review the profile results or the profile summary. More the data, more the insights about the profiling. It can be seen in the data profiling task. So if at all you have any further this was all about creating data profiling task in CDQ. You can always refer to the documentation. You can refer to the knowledge base, which has variety of documents, which will tell you how to create the data profiling task. We would love to hear from you on the feedback of the video. You can tweet us at the given Twitter handle. You can tweet us at the given Twitter handle, or you can write us at supportvideos at informatica.com. Thank you.